Night six. Here we are. Archers. Archers and mist sensors are always a little annoying, but I think we we have the crew to do the work. I was going to say, that first hit was atrocious. Atrocious words are... <laughs> and that right there, kids, is why you don't stand in front of a, uh, of a ground smash. back a little bit. Okay, man is looking a little better over here on Jared now. I think we can more aggressively drop poisons and enjoy the perks of volatility. Okay. Now you just don't have anything to do. Nor do you. I mean, I guess you can clean up the the rest of the rabble. I'm expecting something's going to come like this. I'm going to move you around the corner so that you don't get hit by a random archer. Hmm. Speaking of getting hit by random archers, can't wait for Epidemic. Maybe I pick up Epidemic before Volatile. Maybe that's the play. There is an elite guardian for sure. I have seen it, and it is glorious. Well, not actually, but... Let's see. Oh yeah, I haven't even used Ground Smash yet. Should have probably used Ground Smash earlier. If I step one more in, eh. Why not? Okay, you're fine, you're fine. Now over here, so yeah, so we have an elite resistant guardian that I am gonna try to do what we usually do with elites that we think we can, which is send them into, into the base as far as humanly possible. I don't mind giving them a little bit of damage initially. These two trees, I'm going to get rid of because their presence is uh, is irksome. So let's see, these are dead in two, so I'm not too concerned about them. I'd love to see this archer be gone. And this archer too, just for control reasons. Let's see, what else? I mean, some of these back here, I think I think they're all dead. It's just a matter of, of how long, but all right. Definitely the more dominant performance is by uh, is by our right hand side, but the, the left hand side feels like it is the stronger side. Let's see, so you're gonna move over here, I think. Actually, I'm gonna move you out this way and bees this away.
That could have gone terribly wrong, so I'm glad that worked out the way that it did. That's all good. Let's see. You just go. Oh, that taking two actions is very unfortunate. Is this a safe retreat spot? Can I? Yeah, I can. I can take steps to here. Man, when the crits don't land, it's a very sad day. Good hit. Not quite enough. All right, you get a bit of a recharge. We lost a bit of skill range from the... Uh... Actually, hold on. Before I move any further, let's see. I want to see how much we work we can get done over here. The answer is all of the work. I guess we still move into this corner though, but now we can just... Try to get some... Try to get some stuns off to no avail. But then, yeah, over here... Hopefully this Guardian just keeps on keeping on. We lost a lot of mobility on Kiron with the with the shield going away. <laughs> I love that this guy's looking backwards. Like, hey guys, why why aren't you coming along? Wait for me. Now, this guy needs to get a little bit snared. With four movement, one is going to be too little. I, I don't really want people catching up to him. I wonder if I can just... kind of wondering if I can just... Oops. Slow it down enough. That it's... It's, ra it's range of attack shortens. There we go. That's perfect. This is a nice safe place as long as I kill some archers. Well, I have failed to kill some archers, so... I love that, though. Also, did us a solid of killing some archers. And if I make one, take one step back and pop this guy, I think I'm actually safe. Okay, now over here, somebody needs to come deal with this. I think it's. I think we'll leave. We'll leave Kiron the immobile over there to do some work. Oh, we need a bit of skill range on Kiron. Losing, losing the skill range that we lost is uh, is feeling very impactful. Okay. Okay, you're gonna get taken care of. Okay, perfect. The elite is now inside the base, which means that we can. 
unleash the dogs of war, as it were. So we'll do that, get the get the kill there. Okay, didn't didn't quite have enough juice to get all the way there. You are doomed blocker, so I'm not gonna waste time on you. There we go. All good over there. Alright, so this is slightly less all good. You don't have poison anymore, so I think I'm gonna... Try to do it this way. Okay, perfect. It's not showing a corpse pile. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe that doesn't work the way that we thought it did. Or maybe a corpse pile will show up even though it is not showing the rest. It's hard to know. Either way, I think we take out these two. That will be one? Okay. I That was my understanding previously, uh, third, but there is... Uh, I There is doubt in my mind because last time a pretty little corpse pile showed up there like a like a corpse silhouette i should say showed up at the end of the last wave all right i think we're okay yeah i'm i'm not i'm not convinced that that is indicative but it was the first time that i noticed that transition so I think I think we need to maybe come down here and get I love that even with the miss that was pretty pretty decent how oh, you son of a gun We'll back up like that, and then I'm trying to decide. I think, how far do I have to run to get this archer dead to rights? Oh, Swordmaster, thank you. That that makes a lot of sense. So the, the corpse silhouette is more determined by what type of enemy or what type of elite it was rather than anything else. That makes That makes perfect sense. And then I can do this to get all of these guys ticking, hopefully. All right. Looks good. Now over here. I guess we start migrating. I'm going to migrate a little slowly just because you never know when, like, one more guy is going to come in over here. It looks like that's not going to happen, but... Better safe than sorry. And I am not about to count. Okay, let's start with let's start with the archer. And then I think we'll do this.
Yeah, so I've never, uh, to this to this point, I have never not received, never not, the double negatives uh, are alarming. But I, I've never not received a corpse pile for killing an elite inside of my base. So hopefully that trend continues. And then I think with only one action, there's no way we can get through the, these two to get to this guy. So the Guardian is going to die to the Ballistas, I'm almost sure. Yes. Indeed. All right. Yep. Confirmed. Elites inside the base do indeed give uh, give big bonuses. Okay, so we'll have someone solo and we'll go one and three, I think. Let's do level ups first, just while I'm thinking about it, since we may be hiring another character. I really need someone who can take advantage of the crossbow stuff and also, well, we have four, so we need a momentum character and we need a hand crossbow character is the way I'm feeling right now. So isolation looks pretty good at this point. Don't mind it. And then for you, your crit's at 40%, so crit master could be nice. I'd probably take first blood first over crit master. I'm gonna take longer weapons though, because for the time being we're rocking a hammer and hammers benefit so hugely from that. I saw that action point, I did. The poison is not coming in. I'm feeling a little, a little bad about it. Epidemic is an easy take. Take the range damage. Her movement is okay. Keep getting keep getting that crit going, I guess. And then Probably crit master. We've invested this much in crit. Without multi hit though, that's it's not going to be that transformative. Whoops, almost picked the wrong one there. And then I don't mind the crit. Get Epidemic. Getting Epidemic on both of them is pretty huge. Hey, thank you for hanging out, uh, third. Much appreciated. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to do... So we've already done all the upgrades on these. So these are... We're going to push back the fog. And then we're going to definitely do mine, mine... Mine. Four ruin. Oh, I didn't I didn't harvest the corpse pile. That was an error. But we have plenty of money, so I'm just gonna get another upgrade there. Doesn't look like we got anything else going on. Yeah, this is all garbage, so there we go. Elite carry on pile. What do you have on offer? Iron shield? Ronin boots, they're really taunting me with the prospect of getting a, like these Ronin boots for a momentum character are bonkers. Like four movement. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be very hard for me not to take those. Poison damage charm is fine. I'm gonna see about recruiting someone. We've got we've got the money, certainly. Debuff contamination is not that great, but bounty hunter, robust pacifist. Pacifist is annoying, but we can probably offset it. Alright, cross your fingers for momentum. Manon? And on and on. Completely lacking. Okay, so maybe multi-hit? Maybe we go hand crossbow on you? I think I think that's gotta be the build. Uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. Don't 
Don't know why I kept this hammer. Can I invest in a hypothetical uh, to that level, to that degree? I do not think I can. Show me multi-hit items. 17% momentum. The game is just taunting me. There's actually some insane stuff here. Th these boots, though, are... This is the Lucky Turtle Charm is also sick. Baron's Cape is meh, whatever. I think Jared Jared has one propagation bounce. So let's get him propagating a bit more. Oh, I'm making poor poor decision making at the moment, if I'm being honest. If I were to take this, these Ronin boots, it would be a huge error. Um, this Druid Staff is really nice. I think we're sitting on a level 1 Druid Staff with someone else. Yeah, level 1 here is an embarrassment. I can't not take it though. <laughs> I, it's such an error. This this set though, like holy smokes. We don't. We should start collecting weapons though too, because we haven't done that. Uh, spear plus three. I don't think I'm. I think I'm liking the hammer at the moment. Yeah, we have a lot of things that need to come together for the, for this to work out. Uh, We do have our potion thrower, but I haven't put a lot into them. Okay, Manon, you are looking for multi-hit. Take the big crit power just because I don't want to spend everything without. Propagation damage is okay. I guess they've just removed multi-hit from the uh, from the game because we haven't seen it once. Oh man! It's not good. Yeesh! Manon's gonna have a hard time this first night. I tell you what. Nah, generally speaking, I find that hand crossbows do... Hand crossbows, if you run in, just kill everything. So I I generally don't... I don't go to too great lengths to make sure that I'm utilizing them. Let's see, we'll give this to our potion friend. This hat can be sold. I'll get one healing potion. I don't think that's a terrible idea for Jared, just to start having some not awful potions. Yeah, I do. I always forget that, Jim, but I absolutely, I do know that. I just, uh, I just forget it with some regularity. So this is the small wave. So I'm gonna put like you and I'm gonna put you two over here, and then the three of you are gonna be over here, with Manon doing very little for us, I predict. I do feel like the fog is just perpetually slightly closer than I expected it to be. Okay, so let's see.
I'm going to skip those up there, and then I think... Have we not done... I guess we haven't done Seasoned Operator over here on all of these. We got one more. Yeah, yeah. It, it is It is just a muscle memory thing. Like, I, one of the things that I... If they could add one thing to this game, the thing that I would actually love is a keybind for swapping between characters. Because what I really want to be able to do is I want to be able to do what I do in Darkest Dungeon, which is bring up this page and use A and D to swap back and forth between the characters really quickly. But uh, that is that is not an option. It would be it would be hugely beneficial. I mean. With our little bit of money left, sure, let's start investing in some potions because I've I've gone to such great lengths to get Jared to do this. Wait, do Q and E do it? Wait, is there an option? Oh my gosh. No, Q and E don't. Okay, wait, so you're saying there's a control option that I just didn't know about. Ah, select next hero. It's just not bound to anything by default? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what I've always wanted. Swordmaster and Liam and Willie, thank you all. You have uh, you have changed the game for me, as it were. All right, so I think I want you somewhere in the middle, but yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. All right, let's do this thing. Oh yeah, free building abilities. Wait, what was the other thing? Five perk points? Did I just not spend perk points? Or did I not do all my level ups? I just apparently didn't get perk points spent. All right. Oh, yeah, I didn't do Manon's perk points. So we're going for... I'm going to take Initiator because... I don't see an alternative. Level ups at this point on Night 7 are not making me feel too great. Huh, that's that's fascinating to me, Jim. I I appreciate you pointing it out though. That was uh that that's a huge a huge change up. Uh, I'm going to grab I don't like any of these. All right, we'll do we'll do the level up. I'm going to grab initiator even though I generally don't like it very much. And I think sadism is still good with the hand crossbow. Even if bully is is nerfed into uh, into complete oblivion, but we need to get some multi-hit items. Let's. Uh... Oh yeah, we still have mana to spend. Wait, Kiron. Oh, that's just, that's just a visual glitch that Kiron does not have mana. I was like, wait a second. Kiron does not have mana, but I don't think zero should show up that way. It should show up as a little red bar, ideally. Wow, I don't remember the last time I had zero gold, zero materials available. That's uh, that's special. 